Welcome to Oni Gashima, everyone. Sober Oni of GNA Reviews here with a servant spotlight for the one and only Banana Oni Loli Ibaraki. We'll be examining her stats and skills, as well as going over pointers and how to utilize her effectively, and an overall grade comparing her to how she stacks up to the other four star servants. I also have a spotlight for the limited five star event servant Raiko, so do check that out right after this, but for now, on to Ibaraki's stats. Ibaraki has a max HP of 10,954, which is high among the 4-star Berserkers, but still very low overall compared to the other 4-star Servants. Her max attack of 9,636 is below average when compared to her fellow 4-star Berserkers, but as you would expect, the 1.1 times Berserker damage modifier makes her effective attack of 10,599 incredibly high compared to the other 4-star Servants. Taking a look at her skills, her first skill is Demonic Nature of Oni rank A, which increases the attack of all allies for 3 turns between 10 to 20% and increases her own Noble Phantasm strength for 3 turns between 20 and 30%, both depending on level. Her second skill is Disengage rank A, which removes all debuffs from herself and restores her HP between 1000 to 2500, depending on level. And finally, her last skill is Morph rank A, which increases her defense for one turn by 30% and increases her defense again for three turns between 10 to 30%, depending on level. As for her passive, she only has one. It's Madness Enhancement rank B, which increases her Buster card effectiveness by 8%. Moving on to her deck and Noble Phantasm, she has a straight up Buster Berserker deck with Quick Arts Buster 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 and a Buster Noble Phantasm. Her Noble Phantasm is Rashomon Daiengi, which deals a significant amount of damage to a single enemy between 600 and 1000% damage modifier. It also removes all buffs from that enemy and decreases their defense for 3 turns, depending on overcharge between 10 to 50%. Taking a closer look at her cards, we see that her quick card hits 4 times, her arts hits twice, her buster hits once, and her extra attack hits 5 times. She has a Noble Phantasm gain rate of 1.03% and a star rate of 4.9%. This gives her average star generating because of the 4 hit quick card and high Noble Phantasm gain for a Berserker because of the 5 hit extra card and the 4 hit quick. So, you were spooked by Ibaraki. Well, fear not, because the banana is a berserker to be feared. Ibaraki is a highly unorthodox berserker in that despite her initial appearance, she's actually one of the most high utility and defensive berserkers in the game. In fact, aside from Herc, Ibaraki is the only other 4-star berserker capable of surviving on her own and being a strong soloer. Her skills aren't flashy, but they do a perfect job of effectively facilitating her playstyle. Demonic Magic is her go-to offensive skill as it buffs her Noble Phantasm and attack considerably, but do note that the 20% attack buff applies to the entire party, essentially making this skill a rank A Charisma with an added 30% Noble Phantasm buff on a short cooldown. And because Ibaraki's Noble Phantasm gain is so strong, it's very possible to get two Noble Phantasms off with this buff active, provided you get lucky with your cards. While Demonic Magic gives Ibaraki some good firepower, her next two skills give her high tier defensive options and both are very familiar. Morph and Disengage. I can't stress enough how strong a skill Disengage is for more challenging missions. It's especially great on Ibaraki because she lacks magic resistance, making her highly susceptible to debuffs. On top of that, the heal is decently strong and the cooldown is short, making the skill easy to rely on. Morph is also just another strong defensive tool. 60% defensive buff for a turn means 60% reduced damage and can allow you to even survive a string of crits or an enemy noble phantasm, whereas other berserkers would melt. And the 3 turn 30% defense buff mitigates a good portion of the extra damage you receive from your class disadvantage. Again, the cooldown is short, meaning you can have this defensive buff active for most of the battle. Skill order for Ibaraki is straightforward. Max Demonic Magic first because of Berserker needs her firepower, Morph second for the lower cooldown, and then finally Disengage as it's the most situational. And if you thought Ibaraki was starting to look good after that, we haven't even gotten to her Noble Phantasm. Of course, it's a single target buster nuke, so it'll shred most enemies apart, but even more important are the extra effects. Buff removal, as you'll remember from Rashomon, is a strong effect as it can erase all of an enemy's buffs, including evade, invincibility, guts, defensive buffs, attack buffs, basically anything, making it invaluable for harder quests. 
it also slaps a huge defensive debuff on the enemy, making all your subsequent attacks hit much harder. And again, because Ibaraki's Noble Phantasm gain is so high for a Berserker, this is a Noble Phantasm you can actually spam in the right team comp, giving you almost on-demand buff removal. Between this Noble Phantasm and her Demonic Magic, Ibaraki can provide unmatched utility for a Berserker, and Disengage and Morph give her very strong survivability. But it isn't all sunshine and roses, as you may have noticed, Ibaraki isn't a straightforward servant. Her skills in Noble Phantasm are really technical, and require really good timing, this makes her a very difficult servant to use effectively. She also lacks any hard defensive skills like Evade or Guts, so you'll need to support her accordingly. And finally, she does have low attack for a Berserker, so her unbuffed damage can be underwhelming. As a Berserker, Ibaraki needs defensive support, so make sure you pair her with Waver, Hans, Mosh, Media Lily, Tamamo, Nero Bride, Jean, Dayan, or Irisville. Mosh and Tamamo are especially good choices as Mosh can provide her with the hard defensive option she needs with invincibility and Tamamo's cooldown reduction will ensure that Ibaraki can always keep her skills active. Offensive support is important too, so Nightingale, Liz, Iskander, Caesar, Shakespeare, Shuten, and Helena are good choices as well. I usually don't mention Mystic Codes, but the Atlas Mystic Code is a perfect complement for Ibaraki and in combination with her own skills, it makes her nearly unkillable. Ibaraki's Bondcraft Essence is Bone Sword. It increases Buster Card effectiveness for your party by 20%, but lowers defense by 10%, and it's a trap. Don't use it. Ibaraki's strength is in her utility and defense, so this Craft Essence will actively work against you. The demerit is not worth the buff. Instead, if you want some more damage, go for Limited Zero, True Samadhi Flame, Golden Sumo, or Heaven's Feel. Stay away from Black Grail though, even with a heal, it's just not worth the damage. You can also go for Defensive Craft Essence Focus, in which case Volume Hydrangea is perfect as it is on all Berserkers, as is Iron Will Training to complement your defensive buffs. Overall, Ibaraki is one of the best and most technical 4 stars in the game. If used correctly, she has all the tools she needs to be unstoppable, a huge defense buff and debuff removal make her very sticky and hard to kill, especially for a Berserker. Her Noble Phantasm not only hits hard, but removes all enemy buffs, providing invaluable utility, and she packs an even stronger charisma that can really help bolster your team's overall damage. But all of this only works if you use her right, and she's a very difficult servant to master, which is a bit off-putting because a mistimed skill will mean death. In addition, she also lacks any evade or invincibility or guts, and her damage is still low for a berserker. But overall, I think those downsides are overwhelmed by the amount of value that she brings to any team, so she gets an A rating from me. It's worth taking the time to learn how to use her properly because she can absolutely be very clutch in harder missions and challenge quests and as a berserker with good survivability, she can easily cut her way through your everyday story missions or events without any issue. Well, those are my thoughts on Ibaraki. Honestly, she's one of the most well-designed servants in my opinion and one of the most fun to use because her skills are so strong but balanced because they require proper timing Unlike most Berserkers where you can cruise by by just clicking the red cards and pushing the Evade or Guts button. She's a challenge, but she's worth it, which is why she got my Grails. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And please do check out the Raikou Spotlight if you haven't already, both linked on screen right now and in the description. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over at our Discord, chill with us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight. So we're only out. Later.